Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live broadcast here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We are moments away from the final series of the 2018 campaign for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. They'll be hosting the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Rough year for the Panthers, but the rainbow or the pile of gold at the end of the rainbow is that the Panthers will be qualified for postseason play due to the ineligibility of the Southern Jaguars. So with that being said, the Panthers still have a lot to play for as they get ready to open up here with the scheduled two-game doubleheader on today. Yesterday's game was postponed due to the threat of rain, and they'll get two of them in today. Of course, the first one starting at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. The next one will be 30 minutes at the conclusion of that, so approximately about 3.30, and they'll conclude the series at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Meanwhile, just south of us would be the Southwestern Athletic Conference Track and Field Outdoor Championships going on at the campus of Prairie View and m University. Uh, after day one, uh, it was a very convincing, record-breaking day for some Panthers. Uh, right now, the women were in first place. Men were in fifth place in overall standing. So we'll have a lot of that going on. Hopefully, we'll be able to get you some updates. But, of course, you can keep up with everything going on with PV Nation and throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference Nation by simply going to our website at obnradio.com. You can also check us out on TuneIn at Open Mic Broadcast Network. Of course, our Twitter handle is Radio Guy. Instagram is Radio Guy 22. And, of course, as I mentioned, the website is ovnradio.com. Both coaches are meeting at home plate with the officiating crew. Of course, Antoine Riggins being the man in charge for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. And Carlos James leading the charge for the Golden Lions. Both teams uh, come in to this 2018 conclusion, the Panthers right now or mathematically in the fourth spot, but it does not matter mathematically, as we mentioned earlier, due to the mishaps of the Southern Jaguars. And they have Pine Bluff, who sits in the number three slot. I want to give congratulations to Texas Southern, both softball and baseball, winning the Western Division. And if you could believe it or not, for Coach Barker, that is his ninth consecutive Western title for his softball program, and Coach Rob bringing the third title for baseball, the second under his realm, and so the Panthers will still be fighting hard. It looks like the Lady Panthers will end up in the number three spot due to the finish of Texas Southern taking two out of three over Alcorn, so head-to-head competition, they fell behind Arkansas Pine Bluff, so it would be Texas Southern one. Pine Bluff 2, Prairie View 3, and Southern Lady Jags would be at number 4. On the baseball side, it is Texas Southern in the number 1 slot. You then have Gramlin State, and, of course, you would have Pine Bluff and Prairie View. So the stage is set, and we will get ready to bring you some Panthers baseball action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Don't forget that the Mike Prince Show comes to you each and every day, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, right here on the network. We talk about everything from the rooter to the tutor that comes to the world of HBCU. We do cover intensely Prairie View. We cover all schools. We cover even some of the MEAC and SIAA and so on and so forth. Get ready now for the introduction so you'll pause and get the game on the way. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a tribute to Old Glory and, of course, to the National Black Anthem as we are moments away from getting game time action going on here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network between the Golden Lions and the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. Panthers, of course, coming in with a 7-14 and 14 conference record on the year, as we talked about so often, they are still eligible and qualified for postseason play. 
Panthers facing the Golden Lions, who are 10 and 19 in conference play. Leading off will be Nallison at the 274 batting average. He'll be followed by Parker and Esperanza for the Golden Lions. On the mound for the Panthers will be Derek Curry. Derek Curry is a right-handed pitcher for the Panthers. Coming in, trying to get his second win. He's 1-3 and three on the season with an 8-2-9 earn run average. This is his ninth appearance. He has collectively thrown for 38 innings. In the 57 hits, 42 runs. 35 of those runs were earned. Walked 17 batters, 22 strikeouts. And he has five wild pitches under his belt. So as the Panthers make their preparation, Panthers in their home white pants, purple top, gold lettering. Pretty decent day right now. It rained pretty intensely this morning, and for a moment it looked like it was going to be one of those all-day rains. But the rain has subsided, and the games will carry on. They have to try to put together some winning combinations as they make their preparations for the SWAC tournament play. Of course, this is the last homestand of the 2018 campaign. So Mallison will come to the plate for the Golden Lions. He'll be batting in the left-handed side of the batter's box. Gets real close to the batter's box, ready to face the first pitch from Curry. Curry sets in. Come set from the windup. The first pitch offered up is a ball. First pitch offered up on the day was ball one. Stepping out of the box would be Madison. Now coming back in. And the Panthers ready to reconvene here. Regular depth on the infield or the Panthers. The 1-0 pitch coming from Curry in route. That one misses. Ball two. Two and zero is the count. Just getting started. Game one of the game two double header. Curry working from behind right now. The two zero delivery in route. There's a strike call. Two balls and one strike. Beautiful day here on the hill. Seventy four degrees at start. The clouds have cleared up. A lot of activities going on. The 2-1 pitch in count. That one misses. Three and one. Curry don't want to give up the first batter. He faces a free pass, so he want to try to work him right here. The 3-1 pitch in route. That ball is hit, foul out of play. And it will go to three and two. Payoff pitch coming now from Curry here in any number one. Curry checks in. Comes set. Kicks and fires. That ball is hit. And it's going to be a leadoff single for the Golden Lions. So a single to lead off. First hit of the day. It's going to bring up now Parker. Parker batting from the right-hand side. Ready to go. Curry, come set, deliver. The runner going, that ball is hit out of play for strike one. Oh, and one is the count. No score, top half of the first inning. 
on the goals again. Ready to go back to work now is Curry. Pitch. That ball is going to be hit out of play. Quickly two strikes to the batter Parker. Allison reached on a single. Top half of the first inning. Curry now pitching from the stretch with a runner at first base. He comes set and delivers. Slide step. There it is. A swing and a miss. And that's a strikeout and out number one for Mr. Curry. So Parker goes out on strike. He's going to bring up now number 23, Esperanza. Esperanza comes up. Panthers looking for that double play ball to get him out this top half of the first inning. Curry now pitching from the stretch with a runner at first base. Right-handed batter is Esperanza. Curry comes set, the slide step. That's a ball, 1-0. and oh. Those who may be wondering what the slide step is, normally when the pitcher pitches, he gets a real high kick with a runner on base. He gives what is called a slide step to give himself and the catcher the best chance of getting a runner if they try to advance. Allison at first base with good speed. That's why you do that. The 1 0 pitch. That ball is going to be hit and it's going to be an out to take care of Esperanza. The runner does not advance. It's going to bring up the first base for number 33. Mr. Crutzer. Fly out. It's the second out of the inning. Crutzer batting from the left-handed side of the plate. He is extremely close on top of the plate. Curry's pitch in route. That's ball one. One and oh is the count. No score. Top half of the first inning. Panthers and the Golden Lion. Another one of those feline fights. Curry, comes set, checks the runner, and now delivers. That's down, 2-0. and oh. Curry's been struggling thus far trying to get ahead of the batter. You always want to get at least that first pitch strike to try and stay on top. Infield is in regular depth position to keep themselves getting anything through with two outs. That ball is fouled out of play, two balls in one strike. Panthers trying to salvage what's left of the regular season and looking forward to the postseason. Hurry comes set, the 2 1 delivery. Delivery. There's a strike. Delayed reaction, but it is go through for a strike. Two balls and two strikes. Blue stood straight up, then slightly popped that right hand. Every blue has their own style. The 2-2 two -two pitch coming from Curry. That's down. We got a full count. So no doubt the runner at first base, Madison, will be running on the pitch, and you just want to make sure that you don't lose the hitter right now. Curry, come set, checks in. The pitch, swung on and missed for the second strikeout of the inning, and the Panthers... Take care of business. No hits. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we head for the bottom half of the first inning, Panthers and the Golden Lions, right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. As always, we are excited to bring you baseball coverage in particular. Leading off will be Jefferson. He'll be followed by Baker and Lingua in this top half or bottom half of the first inning for the Panthers. Panthers will try to get on top early here. So Jefferson coming to the plate for the old purple and gold. Jefferson making his presence felt here. with a 232 batting average. First pitch offered up to Jefferson. Be ball one. Facing off against Mr. Tim Reynolds. We'll give you his numbers here in just a moment. 1-0 to Jefferson. Jefferson batting from the left-hand side of the dish. The pitch. That's ball. 2-0. He showed the bunt, but then... It was not granted for the strike, so it's quickly 2-0 and to the Panthers' leadoff man. Reynolds pitching from the windup, comes set, and delivers. There's a strike, two balls and one strike. I feel like Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Rain real hard about 4 a.m. this morning. And there's another strike, two and two. And the rain came down so furiously and hard, I said, there's no way they'll get these games in. And all of a sudden, here comes the sun again. If you remember the whiz, can't you see a brighter day? That's exactly what it reminded me of. The 2-2 pitch coming from Reynolds is swung on and fouled out of play. Two and two. Hope your insurance is paid up because that one looked like it may have hit a Window or at least ding. I hear Miss Thurston over there getting a little excited. They pay you the big bucks, though, Miss Thurston. You'll be all right. The 2-2 pitch coming in now from Reynolds to the leadoff man, Jefferson. Swung on and missed, and that's going to be a strikeout. Jefferson goes down on strikes. That's the first strikeout for Mr. Reynolds. So it's going to bring up Jalen Baker right now. Jalen Baker coming in, batting from the right-hand side. Baker coming in on a new level. There's a strike off it up to Baker. Baker batting 291 on the season. I told you I'd get the numbers for Reynolds here. I'm coming. They're coming. Trust me, they're coming. Reynolds ready to deliver the pitch. That ball is fouled back out of play quickly. Oh, and two. This is game one of the scheduled doubleheader. 1 p.m. start. Actually, 106 was the start time for this one. That ball is hit. Toward the right side. And that's going to be out number two. Four three is the put out. So Lingua will now come up to face off against Reynolds. Reynolds comes in with a 4.5 earned run average, two and one on the season. The pitch downstairs, ball one. Panthers, of course, led by Antoine Riggins in his third year. 
There's a strike. One and one is the count. And the Golden Lions are led by Carlos James. I want to say this is year number six or seven for him. One one. All time out is called. Stepping out of the box. Now being awarded to come back in will be Parker. I'm sorry, Parker grounded out. Forgive me. Four three is Parker. Williams. There's a ball. Two and one. Lingua. I'm sorry, I said Williamson. Lingua, I got ahead of myself. There's a ball. 31 to count now to Lingua, the left handed hitter. Batter for the Panthers. Reynolds chasing from behind. There's a ball hit, and that is going to retire the Panthers. That's going to be another ground out, and they will end up being no runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on. We're going to the second inning. No score between the Panthers and the Golden Lions. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network baseball coverage of the first year A&M University Panthers. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we go to the top half of the second inning for the Golden Lions will be Clutzer, Serrano, and Sanchez. Clutzer batting from the right-hand side, facing off against Curry here in the top half of the second inning. First pitch from Curry is a strike call. 0-1 oh, is the count, no score, top of the second inning between the Golden Lions and the Prairie View a m University Panthers. 0-1 oh, pitch coming from Curry. That one misses, one ball, one strike. Force down the line is 330 to left field and right field, 375 in the gaps, 400 straight away center field. This is considered a rather large part. That one misses two and one. This is what you call a pitcher's park here at Prairie View because of the gaps. A lot of balls don't go out, a lot of gap shots come as a result. There's another ball. 31 is the count. Curry talking to himself a bit out on the mound. Come set for the 3-1 delivery. Sets, kicks, fires. There's a strike. And just like that, we got a full house. Three and two is the count here in the top of the second inning to the leadoff batter, Crutzer. The payoff pitch in route. Swung on, fouled out of play. The count will hold it three and two. Give a shout out to Lee Hall. I'm understanding that he's listening all the way in Greenwood, Mississippi. Happy birthday, sir. I believe he's 62 years old today. There's a ball. Foul back out of play, and the count will hold it three and two. You turn it around, you'll be 26, Lee, but I don't think you want to go back to 26. Enjoy your day, sir. The payoff pitch again. That one is hit high. And foul. Don't want to let go of this 3-2 situation. So Curry will go back to the bump, trying to get him yet again. Curry already off to a pretty good start. He has two strikeouts. Can we get a number three? That's in. Find his target. Now he delivers. That was fouled back out of play, and that is a souvenir. 
right now it becomes a cat and mouse game between the hitter and the batter. Brutzer feel like he's seen everything Curry has to offer. Then Curry comes with this pitch again. That one is going to be fouled out of play yet again. The battle just continues to go on. We'll give you also a little update from my understanding. With Texas Southern softball winning the West, there would be no need to play that extra game between Southern and the Lady Panthers. So that game, oh, that's going to be a ball. Looked like it might have been good enough for a strike. But that's going to be a walk to start us off here in the second inning. So the catcher, Sanchez, I believe I may have missed someone then. So it's Sanchez. That was Serrano, I believe. It said just called out Sanchez, so we'll get that right. Sanchez batting from the left-hand side, runner at first base. There's a ball. 1-0 1-0 is the count, no score here in the top of the second inning between the Panthers and the Golden Lions. Murray slowing down with a runner on the base pass, looking for that twin kill. Check. There's the ball. Lifted. And that's going to be a base hit. Runner advanced to third. Going to be runners on the corner now with that base hit. So they're going to credit Sanchez with that hit. And the walk was to Serrano, who is now at third. So it's going to bring up Sims now. A little discussion out on the mound between the catcher and the pitcher. Got runners at first and the third. Nobody's out. Golden Lions threatening to score here in the second inning. There's a strike called from Curry. Curry up top, 0-1. Need to get an out without giving up that run with the runner 90 feet away. That one misses, one ball and one strike. Home crowd asking for a little love on the call. One and one count. In route. That one is going to be fouled back out of play. One ball, two strikes. Curry needs an out right here. You would prefer the strikeout or just to keep an out on the infield where the runner does not advance from third base. Nonetheless, you got to stay ahead, stay smart here with the one-two count being offered up to Sims, the pitch. That ball is going to be hit toward the middle. It's going to be out. So Curry's able to get that help that he needed. And it's going to alpha up now. Number two, Malison. Malison, very number two, batting from the right hand side. That liner to the third baseman keeps things intact. Now all you got to do is roll two and get up out of here. Curry comes set. The pitch. There's the ball. Hit. And that's going to be enough to get the sacrifice flying in for the first run. So 
So the Golden Lions do get a run off the sack fly. It's going to bring up Mr. Toth. T O T H. Toth. That's from the right hand side. Let me say, one run come across so far here in the second inning. Golden lines up, 1-0. Curry's delivery. There's a ball going to be hit up the middle. And going to handle for the out. 6-3 would be the put out. One run, one hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. Once at the bottom of the second, the Panthers are trailing 1-0. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we come to the bottom half of the second inning. Panthers trailing 1-0. Ezekiel Bear will lead off for the Panthers. Face off against Reynolds for the first time. He'll take ball one. Actually, they call that a strike. No, a ball is ball one. I count. Misses. 2 and 0. The beauty about baseball, the fans. Never agree with the umpire. You got to love it. The 2 0 pitch. That ball hit well, but it's going to be out. Round out. 4 3. Out. Number one in the end. Stephen Williams will now come to the plate. We are batting from the right-hand side. Panthers looking for their first hit here in the second inning. The pitch from Reynolds. The ball. Mind you, this is game one of a scheduled doubleheader. One hole. That's down. Well, it's in route. There's a ball. Reynolds coming back to work. There's another ball. Three and one's the count. Panthers need base runners any way they can get them. A leadoff walk is just as good as a hit. The pitch. That ball fouled back out of play, and we got a full house now. Exciting weekend here on the campus of Prairie View, the 2018 SWAC Track and Field Outdoor Events being hosted by the Panthers. The staff been stretched thin. That ball is hit on the infield. And that's going, oh, did he beat it out? Oh, they called him out. Called him out. It looked like he was a little slow getting out the box, but nonetheless, he... Made it closer than what it was. That's going to be out number two. So now it's going to bring up Avery Williams. Now batting for the Panthers, number 11, Avery Williams. Avery Williams batting from the right-hand side to face off against Mr. Reynolds here for the first time in the second inning. Panthers trailing. 1-0 here from Tankersley Ballpark. 
on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. First pitch is swung on, foul back for strike one. Gordon one is the count. 1-0 is our score in favor of the Golden Lions. The pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Panthers were swept down in Pine Bluff, so they want to return the favor here at home. Right now it's 0-2 to Williams. He faces off against Reynolds. Reynolds comes, sets, kicks, fires. That ball gets away. 1-2. and two. One of those dirt balls. You're hoping that the batter is so amped up that he would swing out of overexcitement. The one two pitch. Foul tip. Count will hold it. One and two. Avery Williams, if he happens to get on, it will set the table with Johnson. Jamerson, I'm sorry. And read my own right. A little discussion at the mound. Blue wants to clean his plate a little bit so everybody gets back into their respective positions. One and two is the count. The pitch in route. Oh, that one just missing. Two and two is the count. That was nerves of steel for Avery Williams to take that. It's now in route. Swung on and missed, and that's going to retire Avery Williams. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base. Reynolds gets his second strikeout in as many innings. We're going to the top of the third, Panthers Trail, 1-0. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the top of the third inning, Panthers Trail, by the score of 1-0. Curry on the mound for the Panthers, facing up against this is the first one, one and one oh pitch. Swung on foul out of play. One and one is the count. One and one is the count. Top of the third inning. Panthers trail 1-0. Curry on the mound, back at the top of the lineup. That ball misses. Two and one. Two and one's the count. Curry comes set, kicks, fires. There's a ball hit well and... That ball is going to be foul. It was long, but foul. Two and two is the count. No, 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 but a long strike. In the books, it looked like a swing and a whiff. Count now even at two and two. Hurry. Ready to make things happen here. Checks in. Kicks and fires. Mm. Mm. Went to work and didn't get paid. Three and two is the count. Boy, that was too close to take. I've had shades closer than that, man. You got to help a kid out. Payoff pitch now coming from Curry. That ball. Hit. And again, it will go foul. Down holds it three and two. 
1-0 was our score. Top half of the third inning. Game one of the scheduled doubleheader between the Golden Lions and the Panthers here in Western Division Conference Baseball, the Southwest Athletic Conference. The payoff pitch coming from Curry. Oh, that's going to be a punch out. Called out on strikes, not liking it. And as if you ask me, he was out twice. So now, let's want to bring up Parker. Parker was a strikeout victim. That is strikeout number three right now for Mr. Curry, Eric Curry. The pitch in route. Swung on and missed, strike one. Curry has a real smooth, slow delivery. Then he just explodes when he gets ready to release the ball. That's one of those little, as they say, the little funky mechanisms that can throw the timing off for a batter. Real slow wind up, then he just jumps out at you. This is there, ball one, one ball and one strike. One out here in the top of the third inning. Great day for some baseball. Great day for track and field. So why not have them both as it's actually happening right now here on the campus of Prairie View. There's another tap of foul. One and two is the count. Prairie run it right along here in this top half of the third inning. The pitch. Swung on and strikeout again. That's the second strikeout of the inning, the fourth strikeout for young Derek Curry. Mr. Sponsor will come to the play now. He was a strikeout victim back in the first inning. Curry rolling right along here. See if he can rack some hits up to go along with this strong performance thus far. Let's get first thing first. Let's get Mr. Esperanza. There's a strike. Now Curry getting a groove with that first pitch strike count. Always important. No matter if it's baseball, softball, t-ball, whatever. Get that first pitch strike. The 0-1 delivery. Mmm. Curry, looking strong. Can he do it? Strike out the side. The pitch. That ball is going to be hit. And just like that, it's going to be an error by the first baseman. So Frutzer would now come to the plate with one, two outs, runner on at first base. Those are the kind of things that makes a pitcher pull his hair out. So Frutzer coming in, batting on the left-hand side, facing off against Curry. First pitch. That's downstairs for ball one. Ready to come back now. 1-0 against Curry. All they need is one to get out of this. There's a strike. One ball and one strike. One and one's the count. Two outs. Top of the third inning, running at first base. Curry comes set. The slide step. That's a ball. Two balls and one strike. Curry. Ready to go. Now he delivers. There's a strike. Gets in on the lower portion of the plate. 
all even at 22. See if Carlos James will send the runner here, usually try to create something. This is the pitch. If you're on the defensive side, you want to get him. You don't want it to go to two, three and two. See if any wheels are spinning right now. The ball is down for ball three. So now, for sure, the runner will be going. Three and two is the count. Top half of the third inning. Panthers baseball here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Yours truly, the radio guy, Mike Prince, having fun at the old ballpark. Ms. Thurston has provided me with a sandwich, so all bills are paid. There's <laughs> a ball hit, fouled out of play. The count will hold at three and two. If Ms. Thurston can't get it done, it won't happen. Thank you again, Ms. Thurston. I'm like Wimpy. I'll gladly pay you on Tuesday. You know who Wimpy is? Old Popeye character. Somebody probably asking who's Popeye. Google it. The payoff pitch swung on and fouled back out of play. Count holes at three and two. Here's some old baseball faithful getting a little worked up. You hear the gun popping off for the track event right behind us, south of us. Another payoff hit from Curry. Swung on. That ball is going to be lifted and handled for the out for three. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. We are headed to the bottom of the third. There is a score of the Golden Lions, one, and the Panthers, zero. You're listening to the Panthers baseball action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to start this bottom half of the third inning. Jamerson will be leading off. Just got news that Miss Bianca has got first place in the hurdles for the Panthers track and field team over here with the SWAG championship going on. Want to know is to count for Jamerson. The pitch. That's a ball. Two and oh. Reynolds ready to go back to work. That ball is going to be lifted and foul. Two and one. Go back to do it all over again. Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, hit and that's going to be a hit. I'm calling that a hit. I don't know what Miss Thurston's going to call it. Will be a hit for the Panthers. Jamerson. So Garcia will now come to the plate. With Jamison reaching, he'll be followed by Gordon. Strike one offered up. Just about at an hour of this game. The pitch. Checking the runner over at first and back inside.
Reynolds paying a lot of attention over at first base. Throws back over. And things will remain the same. Reynolds, once again, paying attention, goes back over. So now the situation getting in the favor of the Panthers all in the head of Reynolds right now here in the inning. That ball's thrown outside. And that chance to second base will be the Panthers' lead off line. Now we got a little circumstances here where you're checking out things and ready to go back. The pitch. Sean Bunt lays it down at third base and going to end up Wow. will remain at second base. Good idea. Show that. Gets ready to come back now into play. Those checks the runner at second. That's that. that ball gets away from the catcher and run will advance to third base. Any way you can get it is all right with me. That's actually going to be a wild pitch to allow the runner to pass advance, Jameson to advance to third base. And all Garcia got to do is get a little lift, brother, and we can be all tied. Or pick me up, if you would. Reynolds comes from the stretch now, delivers that ball, foul. Panthers trying to tie this thing up here in the bottom half of the fourth. He's rolling right along. There's the ball foul again. It's the gifts that keep on giving. On deck would be Gordon. Then we'll be back at the top of the lineup for the vamp. I'm set, ready to go. Here's Reynolds. The pitch. That's a way. Look like a full house is in order. Reynolds waiting for Garcia to get back into the box. Garcia is very, very leisure about it. Now they come set. The pitch. There's another foul. We'll continue to get this thing done until we can get it done right. I see it way outside the box taking some dry cuts right now, talking to himself. So we come this far. Don't let it go now. Reynolds has come set. Now deliver. There's another ball. Foul. And we'll continue 
to line this thing up and do it again. Playing regular depth on the infield, still early in the game. Lions are willing to concede that run to get the out. If that be the case, how about just get it through? There's another one. That one's lifted. And that should be enough. The runner will tag and the uh, Whoa. No run. Wow. Didn't test the, the on, so it's going to be out number one. Two right fielder. We're going to bring up Mr. Gordon. Gordon with a chance now with one out, runner 90 feet away from tying it up. Gordon back to the right-hand side, first appearance against Reynolds. Pitch, the strike call. Garcia had the right idea, just, I guess, didn't get enough bump on it to challenge the arm from outfield. Your one. That ball hit up the middle, and that's going to be a hit, and we're all tied at one. Gordon coming through to help the calls. He gets the run and the RBI. We come back to the top of the lineup now. Xavier Jefferson, he was a strikeout victim. And forgive me, I'd say fourth inning, but we're in the bottom of the third. Jefferson struck out his first at bat. He'll come in now with Gordon at first. Gordon not fleet of foot. See how Coach Riggins will try to play this here. Reynolds checks. There's going to be a strike on the bunt attempt. That was a bunt for a hit attempt. What a sacrifice trying to catch the defense off guard. Jefferson. Panthers have evened this contest up here in the bottom half of the third inning. They're checking the run over at first. They must have read a scouting report I knew nothing about. Gordon, only thing he's going to be running if it's a fire. There's another strike call, and it's quickly 0-2 now. To Jefferson. He didn't like that call at all. He just kind of froze. <laughs> and if eyes could kill. The pitch now being offered up from Reynolds. Swung on and missed, and down goes Jefferson for the second time. And as many as bad. That will end up being strikeout number three three for Reynolds. I want to bring up Jalen Baker. Baker, on his first at bat, rounded out. There you go. There's a ball. Oh, a throw out. And just when I said it, the catcher threw him out from his knees. So leading off will be at the top of the fourth is going to be Baker thrown out at second was Gordon. He was caught stealing. There was one run, one hit, no runners left on base. We're going to the top of the fourth. We're all tied at one. 
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we go to the top of the fourth inning, Soriano will be leading off for the Golden Lions. We're all tied at one. There's a ball one. I was trying to get my scorebook called up, trying to see what Kirkser did his first at bat. Curry, meanwhile, coming to make the 1-0 delivery. That ball is going to be left. It's going to be a leadoff swing here in the fourth inning. Going to bring up now Mr. Sanchez. Sanchez is one for one, Jay. See how the Panthers handle this. See what James wants to do as well. Ball one. All I didn't know was the count. The Sanchez. This inning was led off with a single. Curry now comes set, pitching from the stretch. Now deliver. That's down. Two and zero oh, weekly now. From Curry as he faces off against Mr. Sanchez. 2 and is the count. 1-1 one, one is our score, top half of the fourth inning. Panthers and the Golden Lions all tied here at John Tankersley Ballpark on the beautiful campus of Curry View A&M University. The 2-0, that ball, hit. And yes! The four, six, three, double play, and the passes rolling right along. Want to bring up Sam? Sam, coming up at Twin Killers, the pitcher's best friend. Oh, one and oh. Top half of the fourth inning, all tied. That one misses, two and oh. Boy, the PV faithful are on them. <laughs> Someone even offered to dust off home plate. The 2-0. Oh, hit. And. Oh! We're going to say he was pulled off the bag. Now the question is, is that going to be ruled as a hit or an error? They're going to give him a hit, but they say he was pulled off the bag. Looked like. Wow. So now Riggins is coming out and say, I need some explaining, Lucy, because, you know, I don't have the greatest vision, but I think I even saw that one. Wow. Well, nonetheless, there's going to be a runner on with two outs. It's going to bring up now. Mr. Mallison. Mallison got the sacrifice fly for the run for the Golden Lions back in inning number two. That's a ball, one and oh. There's little things like that 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 when you're having a tough season, 
plays like that, man, could usually start a spiral. Let's hope that's not the case. Let's see if the Panthers can get out of this thing and go back to eat. The pitch. That ball is going to be lifted and through for a single. Now you got runners at first and second. Ball gets through the left side. Second hit. Going to bring up now Talk. Two outs here in the fourth inning. Curry being a little agitated with the runner at second base right now, but has to get back focused with Gordon. He can try to get himself out this jam. Checks the runner, the pitch. That ball is going to be handled for out number three. No runs, three hits, no errors, two runners left on base. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. We're all tied at one. You're listening to the Panther Sports Network by way of the Open Mind Broadcast Network. We'll be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom half of the fourth inning, Jalen Baker was at the plate when Gordon was thrown out. So he'll be leading off this fourth inning all tied at one. Reynolds and Curry in a pitcher's duel thus far. That's ball one offered up to Mr. Baker. Game one of the scheduled two-game doubleheader between the Golden Lions and the Panthers. Panthers 7-14 and 14 on the conference. That's a strike, one and one. And the Golden Lions are 10-9 and nine on the conference. Apparently, they have a makeup game with someone here. 1-1 one, one delivery. Check swing, ball two. Two and one is the count. 1-1 one, one is our score here in the bottom half of the inning. There's a strike. Delayed call again. Strike two is the call. Two and two. Is the count. The 2 2 pitch offered up from Reynolds in route. That ball lifted and out. 6 3. I want to bring up now Mr. Lungwa. They were grounded out his first at bat. Is he walking up to genuine? What do you say? My pony. <laughs> oh, that's going to hit him. Take your base batter. He got on the hard way. So now it's going to bring up Mr. Bear. Bear wound it out. His first at bat. Panthers are something cooking here in the fourth inning, all tied at one. Panthers baseball action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Bear facing off. Against Reynolds, they check the runner. Oh, ball gets away. Checking the runner, advancing to second base. That will be E1. All fans, they might say E3, but it's an error anyway, an advantage of the Panthers. See if the Panthers can take advantage of that right now. The hit by pitch, the ball thrown away to first base by first base. Runner advancing. Now it changes the whole dynamics of how you will allow Bear 
to approach. You brought him to sacrifice him over to see if Williams could do something here. Yet remains to be seen. Pitch coming up, offered to Bear. That ball is going to be lifted. Even Williams will now come to the plate with one out here. Runners at second base. One out here in the fourth inning. Timeout was called. The pitch. That ball's lifted, and that's going to be through for the hit. Runner will advance. Third. Runners on the corner. Now batting for the number 11, Avery Williams. Well, Avery Williams will come to the plate now. Bottom half of the fourth inning. They're all tied at one, at least at the moment. The pitch. That ball hit well and through. A run will come in, and the Panthers take the one-run lead. Take the 2-1. Lingua comes in. Runners now at first and second. And it's going to bring up Mr. Jamerson. Jamerson scored, got a hit and scored for the Panthers in the third. That's the ball down in the dirt. Stop by the catcher for 1 and 0. 2 and 1 is our score. Here is the bottom of the fourth inning. Panthers up 2 1. Pitch by Reynolds. That ball is hit. And runners. Of coming through, and that's going to retire the Panthers. One run, two hits, one error, and two left on the base pad. Panthers take a 2-1 lead. We are going to the top of the fifth inning. Panthers on top, 2-1. to one. It is thing two. With the Mike Broadcast Network, we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top half of the fifth inning. Panthers up 2-1. Allison will be leading off for the Golden Lions here in the top half of the fifth. Allison called out on strikes his last at bat. He unofficially put in my records one for one on the day. Facing off against Curry. There's the ball. I didn't know the count from Curry. 
Allison back in the box. Ready to go back to work. 1-0. There's a strike. One ball and one strike. All even from Brother Curry. The pitch in route. There's another strike. One ball, two strikes. One two pitch in route from Curry. Ball's going to be hit. And hand. oh, the high throw. But a guy to save and tag. Wow. Man, that's going to be a 4 3 the hard way. <laughs> I was going to bring up Mr. Parker. Parker struck out twice against Mr. Curry. First pitch offered up is strike one. Curry feeling his groove right about now. That's a good thing. The 0 1 pitch coming from Curry. There's another ball snag for out number two. Line shot to third. A line drive shot to third will make it out number two of the inning. If you're keeping score, that will go L5. Now Mr. Esparza will come to the plate. Grounded out his last at bat. He's been a strikeout victim for Curry as well. The pitch. Ball one. 1-0 1-0 is the count. 2-1 is our score here in the top of the fifth inning between University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, Golden Lions, and the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. The 1-0 pitch. Oh, and that's... Levy said strike one. 1-1. One one. The pitch. Swung and foul back. Curry back on top now with a one and two count. Curry's been very efficient this game. Started off a little struggle getting his first pitch strikes the first couple of innings. He's gotten his wind underneath his wings. He's been flying high. One, two pitch. Ball. It's popped up out of play. Giving Chase was Gordon, but he ran out of real estate. Count will hold it one and two. Gordon taking his time to get back. He's wearing a few few extra pounds with that catcher's gear and running out to shoot like he did, trying to catch his breath. Meanwhile, Curry is like, let's get it while the getting's good. He's back on the rubber, ready to go. One two delivery, that ball swung on and it's going to be tapped. And that's going to be out. Three up, three down, the little flare, the short center. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Panthers on top, two to one. You listen to Panthers baseball at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom half of the fifth inning. Panthers on top by the score of two to one. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Smith. Thank you for joining us on today. Mr. Anthony Garcia will be leading off for. The Panthers, he flied out his first at bat. He's yeah. on the pitch from Reynolds. Strike is called. Oh, and one is the count. Reynolds. 
comes Sid, pitching from the windup. The delivery. That's downstairs. One ball and one strike. Game one of the scheduled doubleheader between the Panthers and the Golden Lions. Panthers trying to get things together for the postseason play down in the Big Easy. Lawless at third week of May. Ball lifted foul out of play. One and two. Lady Panthers, meanwhile, will be headed to Montgomery, Alabama. Old stopping grounds and miss for Tanya Thurston for the SWAC softball tournament. Will not be going to Baton Rouge. If they'll be going straight through. There's no need to play that game. Save the money. Save the possible injury. That's a ball, two balls, and two strikes. So Coach Bland and the Lady Panthers end up in the number three spot of the Western Division. Behind Pine Bluff and Texas Southern, that ball fouled out of play. Down holes in 22. Ready to go back. Methodical getting back into the box. We're in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Panthers two, Golden Lions one. Hit. And the ball hit well. And oh, hustling. And call him out. That will actually go three one on the split out. First baseman puts it over the first, uh, pitcher. So Gordon will now come to the play. Gordon got an RBI single his last at bat. Now the Panthers get back into the swing of things. Thank you all for joining us on today's broadcast. Between the Panthers and the Golden Lions, hit the open mic, broadcast network. The pitch, runner, go, and blaze the bunt, foul out of play, 0-1 on the batter. Coach Riggins trying to keep things running and going. Staying ahead, keeping the foot on the gas. You have to always do that. You can never tell, especially with your conference game, you score as often as you can. 0-1 0-1 the count to Gordon. There's a strike call. Gordon finds himself in a jam now, 0-2. Gordon was called stealing. Scratching my head on that one. Maybe they just want to preserve Baker, who was the batter at the time, for the next inning. There's a ball hit, and it is going to Actually, I'm going to say it's out. I want to bring up Jefferson. Lead off man. Jefferson has struck out twice against Mr. Reynolds. See if he could prevent that from taking over his psyche. Little conversation between the catcher and the pitcher. Now break that up. A lot of activity going on here on the campus of Prairie View, the Southwest Athletic Conference track and field. Championships being hosted on the heel. Now they're ready to resume action. First pitch off it up is a strike call. 0 1 to the battle with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Panthers on top, 2 to 1. Pitch. That one misses. One ball and one strike.
Colonel's ready to go back to work. The wind up. That one's fouled out of play. One ball, two strikes. One two pitch. Swung on and foul. Back out of play. We'll hold it one and two. I want to remind you that you can check out the Mike French show. Yours truly, Monday through Friday on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Ten AM Central Standard Time. We talk about the world of HBCU sports. One two pitch to be delivered. That ball is going to be hit toward the right side, and that is going to retire the Panthers in the fifth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on the base pad. We're going to the sixth inning. The Panthers on top, two to one, will be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we head to the top half of the sixth inning. Panthers on top by the score of 2-1. to one. Leading off will be Kurtzer. Kurtzer. Facing off against Mr. Curry. First hit. It's a strike call. Wouldn't win the count. Two and one is our score, top of the sixth inning. Panthers on top of the Golden Lion. That's a ball. One ball. One strike. Nobody out. Just getting this sixth inning on the way. One one pitch coming from Curry. It's his time. Now he kicks, delivers. That's a ball. Two and one. We shout out to my wife. She's out and about on the Saturday. Says everything is sounding good. Be careful out there, girl. That's a ball. Three and one. As old Sam Cook say, bring it on home. I'll start singing in a minute. If you ever <laughs> change your mind. Three and one is the count. You didn't get me started now, young man. There's going to be a ball four off it up. Maybe it's my singing that got Curry to get that walk off. I'll stop. Kurtz gets the walk. Going to bring up now. Serrano. Serrano got a single. He's last at that. Conversation now between Gordon and Curry. Look here, bro. We didn't got this far. Don't change nothing now. Let him hit it. Oriano coming to the plate here in the top of the sixth inning. Panthers on top, two to one. Southwestern Athletic Conference baseball action right here at the open mic broadcast. Never well, we have one double play today of four six three. Can we get a six three four? The pitch swung on and missed for strike one. That was a nasty intentional swing by Serrano. He wanted to lift that one over the three thirty mark at least. Oh, and one is the count. Nobody out here in the top of the sixth inning. Panthers up two to one. Panthers in their home white bottles with the purple tops. And the Lions in their black tops with the gray bottles. The pitch. That one foul back. Two strikes. Right. 
Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. Instagram is Radio Guy 22. Follow us. Chirp back with us. I guess a chirp equals a tweet. Oh, that one misses. I think everybody in Tankersley Ballpark wanted that one. 22. Somebody say, what you got to do? Lay it on a tee? Burry looked a little bit displeased with that call, looking at his body language. But he has to get that out of his mind and go to work right here. And that ball is going to be fouled. That was the mighty Casey swing that he was looking for earlier. So now someone has just selectively say, pitch him outside. <laughs> we'll see how Curry responds right now. Trying to set him up. They say, pitch him away, low and away. Let's see if Curry responds on this 22 count. Runner at first base, nobody out. Curry comes set, checks the runner, takes his time. Now he hits, delivers, and that's downstairs. Three at two. Well, the runner will be going. Still got the 4-6-3 or the 6-4-3 double play in order. I don't care if you get a 1-3 double play. Line drive, flip it back over the first. I don't care. Let's get this double play to get some momentum rolling here for PV Nation. The pitch. Gee, this is ball four. Back-to-back walks in the inning for Curry. Gordon and company now coming to have a discussion. Looks like Reynolds is coming out as well. And will this be the end of a strong performance for Mr. Derek Curry? They're discussing it. And they're still discussing. The Curry said, Coach, I think I got it. I think I can. One more chance, please. And I think he has pleaded his case. And I can guarantee you, Reynolds told me this will be it. If you give up anything here, this is it. I'm coming to get you. With the 4th of July. Well, he's going to go with his gut, let Curry stay out to face off against Sanchez. Sanchez hitting to that 4-6-3 double play we were talking about earlier, his last at bat. He also got a single, one for two on the day. Let's see, will the decision to keep Curry in pay off for Coach Riggin and company? Sanchez batting from the left-hand side, first pitch. Ball one. Looking at the body language of Curry, he may be getting close to hitting his wall. Right now he's on fumes and guts. See if he got more fumes than guts or more guts than fumes. Either way, I need an out, kiddo. The pitch. That's a ball, 2-0. and oh. Curry now walking around the mound, trying to get the mental part. Now, this is all mental right now for Curry. Toes up on the rubber. Checks in with Gord. Checks the runner at second. Now delivers. That's a ball. Now, with the body language from Curry, he feels like he's being squeezed right now. Meanwhile, it's 3-0 and with runners at first and second. Nobody out. Top of the sixth inning. Panthers up 2-1. to one. 3-0 pitch coming from Derek Curry right now. 
And that's a strike. That's almost automatic. That's almost automatic. So now you got to see if you can get Sanchez to bite on a ground ball to get you in position for that double play. Sanchez is tight on the plate, so you basically want to pitch him in if you're Curry. The pitch. That ball is going to be lifted foul out of play, and someone has a souvenir. Three balls and two strikes now. Curry trying to bull his neck and work his way out of this slight jam here in the sixth inning with the Panthers up two to one. Been a very competitive pitch game by both Reynolds and Curry on today. Curry checks in. Now he's delivering the pitch. There's the ball grounded, and he's going to get the out. And the Panthers will get the one out. Meanwhile, runners will be on the corner. Got the lead runner for the 4 6 3 attempt. So he'll reach by fielder's choice. Runner will advance to third. Four six on that out. So now he's going to bring up Sims. Sims got a single. Double play still in order. Well, we got a pinch hitter now. Twenty seven. Columbo. Give you a little information on him in just a moment. Pinch hitter wearing number 27. First pitch. Ball is popped up and going back in the chase was Gordon. He'll run out of space. Strike one. Pinch hitter here. Get you as we're working on that right now in between pitches. Oh, and one is the count. Panther still looking. Mm, that one misses. One and one. One and one is the count. The pitch off it up. That one's top three. And it's going to drive in a run. Ball gets away from the catcher and another run is going to come. Two runs come in. Make it three, two. One out. Allison coming to the plate. Top half of the sixth inning. After just giving up two runs, to now trail 3-2. Curry, come set, deliver. That's the ball hit up the middle. Oh, uh, 
Three. There you go. Six four three, I should say. So two runs, one hit, one error, and a runner left on base. Panthers trail three to two. We're headed to the bottom of the six. You're listening to Panthers Baseball on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Panthers trailing six. I'm sorry, three to two. Baker, Lingua, and Bear is the plan for Coach Riggins and company here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Baker is looking for his first hit of the day to ground out. Facing off against Rental here in the bottom of the sixth inning. First pitch of the ball. Well, one thing I can give credit to, they've been generous and consistent on the balls and strike zone thus far. 1-0 pitch. That ball. Full foul. Strike one. One and one is the count. Three, two is our score. Bottom half of the sixth inning on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. Panthers and the Golden Lions doing battle in this Western Division of Southwestern Athletic Conference Baseball. Game one of the scheduled doubleheader. Makeup games due to all the inclement weather and trying to get things done before tournament season starts. Panthers automatically qualify due to the APR challenges of the Southern Jags. Southern Jags under new leadership, Coach Jackson taking over for Coach Kador, who seemed to be there since Pete was a pup, 32 years. Ready to go to work now, 1-1 one, one counts. That's a ball, 2-1. Reynolds trying to keep his focus and composure. That ball is lifted foul. Two and two is the count. Seven out of the box now getting composure, ready to come back to work. Two two delivery to be offered up by Reynolds. Checks in with his catcher. Come set, kick, and fires. That's ball three. He's going to appeal. What did he appeal for? He can't get a strike, called strike, unless he swings. Wow. Okay. Guess if you're not trying, it's not happening. There's the ball hit well, and it's going to be handled for out number one. Fly out. We get us the first out here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Now batting for Panthers, number 15, Daniel Lingua. So Lingua will now come to the play. I can't believe he comes to genuine. Hey. Wow. <laughs> get on the pony, son. Let's get a hit. He was hit by pitch his last at bat. Showing bunt, lays it down, and... Three out number two. So three unassisted. Okay. Going to bring up Ezekiel Bear. Bear, over for two. Slide out. Round out. Bear coming in from the left hand side of the plate. Panthers trailing 3-2 to two here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Course scheduled for nine. Then they'll take a 30-minute break and get ready to do it all over again. That's ball one. Thank you all for tweeting, texting, 
letting us know you're listening. I appreciate you. Y'all make me feel love. One O pitch coming from Mr. Reynolds. That ball is driven for the right side. And it is going to be touching them all. A solo blast. No, it's not. That's what you call WTP, one and track power. One more biscuit. And that is going to retire the Panthers. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. We're headed to the top of the seventh Panther Trail, three for two. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we go to the top half of the seventh inning. Panthers Trail, three to two. Toff will be leading off for the Golden Lions. Toff, flying out, grounded out. He's 0 for 2 on the day. The pitch off it up. Hits the batter. And that's how we start the seventh inning. You might want to come and get him right now. I'm not sure. Back to the top of the lineup. Mallison will come to the plate. Now, Mallison is old for, I'm sorry, one for three. Allison batting from the left-hand side of the plate. As I mentioned earlier, he likes to get tight on that plate. Daring you to throw it inside. That's the ball. One and zero here in the top of the seventh inning. Panthers trailing three to two at the moment. Pitch off it. That ball turned on, and we got a four-six. There we go. That's how you roll them, baby. Next. Allison will do the Panthers a favor on that. I'm going to bring up Mr. Parker. Parker is old for three. Two strikeouts and a line out to third. Pitch in route from Bird. Oh. One and oh is the count. Three, two is our score. Top of the seventh inning. Panthers trail the Golden Lions. That's a strike. Now we're all even at one and one. Curry checks in with Gordon. Delivers. That ball is going to be grounded and handled for the out. Four, two, three up, three down. No run, no hit, no error. It's going to the bottom of the seventh inning. Panthers Trail 3-2. You're listening to Panthers Baseball right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom half of the seventh inning. Steve Williams. Steve Williams will be leading off for the Panthers. Williams one for two on the day. Be a leadoff, kiddo, here in this bottom half of the seventh. Panthers need one to tie. You can take the lead. Reynolds steal the pitcher of record. Ball one. We might want to give a friendly reminder to some of our fans that there's a crowd mic right in front of them if they don't want to be heard nationwide. One old pitch. This is two and oh. Two and is the count. Pitch coming from Reynolds. 
I want two balls and one strike. One hit. That was misses. Three balls and one strike for the leadoff batter for the bottom half of the seventh inning for the Panthers, Mr. Steven Williams. Need to get this runner on. Red ball driven. Going to be out number one. And as we have a conversation at the pound, Carlos James, wonder if he's going to make a pitching change. We're going to pause while they play a little entertaining music, find out exactly what we got going on. So the pitching will stay the same. Avery Williams will now come to the plate. First pitch, Avery Williams sees. He drives to the left side, and it's going to be out the sixth three. Two up, two down here in the seventh inning. I want to bring up Jameson. Jameson reached on a single. Two outs here in the seventh inning. Panthers trail 3-2. Like it's called. Reynolds taken. Same amount of time now as the game lingers on. Now he comes set, the 0-1 delivery. Foul back, 0-2. Quickly in the hole now. Panthers batter, Mr. Jamerson. That ball hit, and it's going to be handled for the they see it. Not through that. That was pretty premature. So the two out hit. They'll open things up for Mr. Garcia. So Ronald reaches with the single. Garcia will come to the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Panthers trailing three to two. Reynolds, still representing for the Golden Lions. Yes. That's in the dirt. And the runner goes. Want to say was safe. Okay, it took a while to figure that one out. He's safe with the stolen base. It's a ball. One and zero is the count now. See the fans can do something here with some timely hitting with two outs. 
Is he pitching from the wine club? No, he's going back to Scripps. Pitch. There's a strike. One ball. One strike. Two outs. Bottom of the seven. Panthers trail by one. Three to two is us four. Garcia ahead of the count, three and one. Something he can get in the gap would definitely tie this game up. The pitch. Ball is going to be lifted. That's through. It's going to be. It's going to be an error. We was waiting on the ruling there, so it will be an E. Runner will advance to third. You got runners on the corners now. Any way you get it, I'll be satisfied. Yes, it is. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. So Tyler Gordon would come. He can get his second RBI of the day. If he can find a way to get one through. We need a sweet Lucy right now, Mr. Gordon. Gordon coming up to the plate with runners on the corners. Timeout was called. Garcia reaching by error. Even spoiled the E4. Pitch. Strike on. Oh, and one is the count. Panthers Achilles heel has been leaving runners on the base pads. See if they can counter that right now. No one pitch coming from Reynolds to Gord. The delivery. Foul tip. Strike two. Gordon deep out of the box now, talking to himself. 0-2, he has to protect the plate. Anything close? He has to fight it all. The 0-2. That ball gets up. One ball and two strikes. If I'm going to be able to remember, there's a story I'd like to share with you probably in this eighth inning time permitting. Found it rather interesting. One, two, pitch. That's it. Two and two. Tried to appeal to see if Gordon went on that. But not to the pleasing of the home plate official, nor the first base official for that matter. So the count will go to two and two. Runners on the corner. Two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. After this trail, three to two. Reynolds, the starting pitcher for the Golden Lions, still on the mound. The pitch offered up. That's up. The runner goes to second. No attempt on the throw. We got a full count. So Garcia ends up going to second base. Now runners at second and third. Base hit could give the Panthers the lead. 3-2 count coming up from Reynolds. Facing off with Gordon. Reynolds checks in. It's a signal. Sets, fires. That's going to be ball four. Bases are loaded. Top of the line up. Top of the order. Bases loaded with two outs. And apparently that ball hit Gordon. And James is appealing, saying that Gordon didn't attempt to get out the way. But he has just as much right to the batter's box as the pitcher there. And as old Tankersley would say, do whatever you got to do to get on base. Let it hit you. That's exactly what Gordon has done. Meanwhile, there's going to be a basis loaded situation as Xavier Jefferson comes to the plate. 
Now, here's the good thing about it. Xavier Jefferson is 0 for 3 on the day. And the reason I say it's the good thing is because if you mention that they're 0 for 3, they normally get their first hit in a clutch time as this. As Mr. Christopher said, it ain't the equivalent to saying no hitter. No, sir. <laughs> Here we go. Bases loaded. Reynolds against Jefferson. Reynolds pitching from the stretch. Checks in with his catcher. He kicks. Throws. That's the ball. It got away, but not far enough for the runner to advance. One and know it's to count. At third base for the Panthers is Jamerson. Jamerson has decent speed, but don't run yourself out in an inning. One and O's to count. Three, two is our score. Bottom half of the seventh inning, Panthers trail. Reynolds, the starting pitcher, in what has to be his most difficult jam of the day. The one no delivery coming from Reynolds to Jefferson. He's set. He fires. There's a strike call. We're all leaving at one ball and one strike. TV Nation making noise. Pine Bluff Nation making noise. The 1-1 delivery coming from Reynolds. He fires. That ball is driven through. It gets through. Avon comes in with five. And two runs will come in. The Panthers now take the lead four to three. The base hit. Drives in two, and the Panthers take the lead here with two outs in the seventh inning. As I tell the young bull, when you mention it, it comes through. Baker will now come to the plate. Baker's coming in, so I'm on a new level. Let's take it to a next level then, brother. Y'all ain't heard me. (laughs) There's a ball offered up from Reynolds. 4-3, Panthers have the lead now here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Two runs in this inning with two outs. That's what's the impressive thing. And this is the kind of ball you want to be playing. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. There's another ball hit through. That ball is going to get through. And another run will come in for the Panthers. <laughs> Panthers getting their house in order. Make that correction. Two more runs come in for the Panthers. Next day for the Panthers, number 15. So, Lengua will come to the plate. All this with two outs. That's what's impressive for the Panthers right now. Lengua still coming up with two outs here. Runner at second base. Panthers had two more to make it 6-3. That's a good height, too. Want to know what's the count. Panthers showing some resilience here. Reynolds still on the mound. Missing two and zero. Oh. Two and zero oh is the count. Two outs. Runner at second base. Deuces wow here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Four runs to come across for the Panthers. Another discussion. As I believe that's going to be it for Reynolds. Carlos James coming back out. And with that being said, we'll pause just for a moment. Panthers doing some damage here in the seventh inning. You're listening to Panthers Baseball Action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we go to the top half of the eighth inning, Jerson Hardett will now come in this eighth inning to relieve Furry, who has pitched an outstanding game. Panthers up five to three. Forgive me, I was giving them a run too many. Maybe they'll come in and get another one in the eighth to make it up for me. There's the first pitch offered up. Strike one here in the eighth inning. To Mr. Esperanza. One ball and one strike. Panthers making it three runs in that inning. I was premature on one. There's a ball. Lifted. And handle four. Out number one and right. Now it's going to bring up Kurtzer to the plate here in the top half of the eighth inning. Panthers up five to three. His first time facing off against Paddock. They're going to say he did go. One one. That ball turned on, hit the second. Four three on the put out. A little hot, but he was able to sit down on it and make the throw. Wanna bring up Mr. Orianto. Two outs here in the eighth inning. Panthers up 5-3. Pitch. There's a tapper foul for third base. 0-1 is the count. We'll try to see if we can get some uh, track updates. Wait, we know that Miss Bianca... Uh, Bianca, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I know it was our Anka in it. Thirteen forty-one was her time in the prelim. But they hear it up. You can tell they paying attention, can't you? That ball driven, but it's going to be out. Five three, three up, three down. Panthers, no run. No hit, no error. You're going to the bottom of the eighth inning. The Panthers up 5-3. You're listening to Panthers baseball action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the eighth inning, Ezekiel Bear leading off for the Panthers, leading five to three. 
And I forgot all the way through this broadcast. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Brother Christopher has not had his nap. <laughs> Pitch off it up to there is ball one by Mr. Nathan. Panthers trying to keep this groove thing rolling. There, batting from the left-hand side of the box. Pitch offered up. Swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes. And down goes Mr. Bear. He's going to go down looking. That is going to be the first strikeout for Nathan. That would be the backward K for looking. Stephen Williams will now come to the plate. Stephen Williams flying out his last to back, got a single and a ground out, so he is one for three unofficial on today in game one. Wings and misses to strike one. Right too quickly. Stepping off the rubber now was Nate. The pitch. Swung on. Missed. The second strikeout of the inning. Two outs for the Panthers here in the bottom of the eighth. I want to bring up Avery Williams. It's coming from Nathan at route. Ball one. The pitch, that ball hit hard, but it is going to go right to the field, to the left center, I mean, shortstop. Three up, three down, no runs, no hits, no errors. Panthers holding on 5-3. We go to the top of the ninth. You're listening to the Panthers baseball action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the ninth inning, Hardit facing off against Sanchez. Over the Panthers can get three up and three down to secure their eighth win in conference play. Gordon giving out some instructions. Hardit is hard at work. First pitch offered up to Sanchez. That's right. Lay in the front down and wow. Ball goes foul to the third base side. At this point, the 
Golden Lions trying to get a runner on. Leadoff runner is always a higher percentage of good things happening. And vice versa on the defensive side, you get that first out, it's a higher percentage of good, good things happening on the defensive side. It's coming up now from Hardy. Oh, did he? Yeah, he went around. Foul tip was the call. Hardy in his second inning of relief work. That's delivered. That's the ball. Panthers will close out their regular season contest here at home. They still have a couple of road games to take on against McNeese and Baylor before they head to the Big East. Down in New Orleans. New Orleans. Hard it comes set. Pitching from the stretch. High, slow kick. Down in the dirt. Hardy jumped out ahead. And his delivery is like night and day compared to that of Curry. He has real high, slow kick. One just easy flowing motion toward the mound. Pitch. Ooh. That's going to miss. We got a full house. Arden wants to get this leadoff guy, Sanchez, here in the top of the ninth inning. Panthers up 5 3. Panthers have fought from behind. Don't want to give the lead up, especially late in the game. Payoff pitch. Ball tap. Rounding, running, good dig at first. They going to be a infield base runner on base. We're going to wait to see how they're going to call it. Looked like he may it should have been a can of corn. If you ask him. But no one's asking. They're going to rule it as an error, E3. Columbus will now come to the plate. He pinched hit back in the seventh inning. Got a base hit. See if the Panthers can roll one over here. That's the ball. They've already turned over two today. Four six three and six four three. Let's see if they can get that combination working again here in the ninth inning. Audit. Has a runner at first base. Checks the runner over and he's back inside. I didn't know what's the count. Five three is our score, top of the ninth inning. The pitch. I'll tip. We're even at one and one. <laughs> Hear the laughter of the crowd here. Take a sleep feel. The buzz of the crowd. Some Golden Lion fans and some EV fans, of course. They're taking advantage of both events going on. Track and field championships held on the south side, right behind it. Going old. Ball game. That ball grounded. Is that the four six six four three? Uh, ball is fired. Fired. And it's going to be enough to advance the runner to sacrifice fly. Runner wheel. That bands. The second. Anytime the runner can advance, they call that a sack. Mm-hmm. 
One out. Yeah, oh, the runner goes at third. That ball is hit in play. And a run is going to come in. Wow, and just like that, it's a 5 4 ball game. So now there's going to be another conversation. We're going to see what, how did they rule that last play? Huh? Just the hit, Norby. Yeah, I want to make sure they got it, so that will be a hit. RBI. It's off. We now come to the plate. Runners at first. Panthers need two outs to get out of this jam. That's a ball. I don't know is the count. The pitch. Ball. All goes wow. out. Oh, still trying to work himself to get the save here. On the goal, there's another ball hit through the hole. Runners now at first and second with one out. Now, going to have another pitching change. No? Yeah, this is his second visit out. So we're going to take a break. We'll come back and tell you how it's all unfolding. Two runners on with one out here in the top of the ninth. Panthers holding on to a 5-4 lead. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers have gone for the time. Darren Williams will come in relief for Coach Wiggins here with one out. In the top of the ninth inning, runners at first and second. And I love this move by Coach Riggins. He said, if you're going to beat me, beat me with my best. As Mallison will come to the plate. He last at bat, hit it to a 4-6-3 double play. The key now is how many pitches will D. Will throw in this outing? He's normally your Sunday pitcher. First pitch. Strong on, popped out of play, strike one. I mean, he's going straight to the jugular is Williams. Much faster motion than what Harden had. Let's see if there's a timing mechanism now between the batters. Second pitch. That one misses. One ball and one strike. One out here in the top of the ninth. Panthers up five to four. Golden Lions have got a run come across here in this ninth inning. He will trying to shut the door right now on everything. Check fires. That would miss it. Two and one. He will out of Bryan College Station area. Comes in. Sets. Checks. Fires. Mm. That one missed. 
Boy, they want to dance in the corners, but they won't let them have it. Three and one is now the call. Pressure mounting up now. The pick. There's a strike, and we got a full count. Darian Williams not wasting any time. He's going right to work. As soon as he gets the ball, he's back on the rubber, ready to go. Three and two count. One out. The payoff pitch in route. Swung on and foul back out of play. The count will hold it three and two. Darian Williams throws in the low 90s. They call great velocity or velo, as they like to call it now. 3 2 pitch coming up to Mallison here in the top of the ninth inning. He checks in with Gordon. Kick O checks the runner back second. All is well. Trying to see if you can catch the runners trying to get a running lead here with one out. The time run is at second base. That's the most important run now for the Golden Lions. The pitch for Williams. That ball is hit. And it's going to get through. A run's going to come in. And the lead is now come in to get two runs here in the top of the ninth. Two runs come in to give the Golden Lions the lead. Parker will now come to the plate. Still only one out. Runner will advance to second base on the advancement of the other runners. Enfield now playing in. There's a strike off it up. 0-1 is the count to Parker. That ball is hit. And it's going to be out. Fly out. The runner will not try to advance. Three runs here in the ninth. The Golden Lions to take a one-run lead. Six-five is our score. Hit. That ball hit. And. Another one is going to come in. Oh, they got him out of the plate. Thought the runner got him out of the plate. Wow. You talking about some drama. Ryan get three runs in that top frame of the ninth inning to make it 6-5. Panthers now will have to put their rally caps on to try to win this thing at least in the ninth inning. Doing so, we have scheduled the lead of Jamison, Garcia, and Gordon. We'll head to the bottom of the ninth, Panthers Trail, 6-5. to five. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the ninth inning, Panthers need one to tie, two to win. Jamison will be leading off. For the Panthers. There's ball. Nathan could now qualify for the win if everything holds fast. Or he can get the loss for the Panthers. Two run rally here tonight. There's another ball. Try to get that first guy on. There's 
He's got a ball outside. Trying to work the walk. This be James. Jameson has pretty good speed. At least get him in position if he can get on here to try and at least tie it up here in the bottom of the ninth frame. The pitch. Strong on and miss. Jamerson goes down for out number one here in the ninth inning. Garcia will now come to the plate. One out here in the ninth inning. There's a strike off it up. Forty one is the count. Your one delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike two. The 0 2 pitch in route from Nathan. That ball is going to be tapped foul. They'll hold it 0 2. Regular depth on the infield. Somewhat shallow in center field. The 0 2 pitch in route. Ball, that ball, two strikes. Nathan checks in, ready to make the one two delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike out. Second strike out of the inning. Panthers down to their final out here in game one. It's going to be up to Tyler Gordon. Gordon walked and scored his last at that. Pitched off it up in the fall. Who you know? Gordon represents the final round for the Panthers here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Panthers trailing six to five. Panthers just give up the three runs here in the ninth inning. Give up the five two five three lead, I'm sorry. There's another ball. Panthers need a base runner to at least keep hope alive. Gordon steps out of the box. A little conversation going on right now between the pitcher and the pitcher. If Gordon can somehow get on, it brings us up to the top of the order. Jefferson. Break the party up. Reconvene now. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Gets back into the box. Nathan's ready to deliver. The bitch. The ball. 22. 31, I'm sorry. That's ball four, and that's just what the doctor ordered. You want to keep hope alive. Gordon works the, works the walk. There's going to be a pinch runner to come in for the Panthers. We'll wait on the announcement. 
Samaria Smith will come in and run. He'll run for Gordon. Jefferson coming to the plate. Jefferson got Jefferson got a single in his last at bat. Knocked in a couple of runs. Smith running for Gordon at first base. The pitch offered up to Jefferson. He bats on the left hand side of the box. Right one is the call. Oh, and one is the count. Two outs, bottom of the ninth inning. Panthers trail six to five with a runner on first base. Smith running for Gordon, who just worked the walk. Jefferson at the plate. Jefferson singled his last at bat. Nathan in for relief for the Golden Lions. That ball is hit. And going to be handled for the out in the outfield. That is going to take care of the Panthers here in game one. Panthers lose game number one, six to five. As the Panthers couldn't quite hold on, UAPB would advance to 11 and nine. The Panthers will now go to eight and 11. I'm sorry, 7 and 15. Forgive me on that. Panthers not able to hold on. They score five runs, but give up six. They fall down here in game one. That is going to bring us to the conclusion of our game one broadcast coverage here from Tankers. We feel I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Panthers lose by the score of 6 to 5. We thank you all so much for joining us. As they get ready for preparations of game number two, we're going to sign off for now. Until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.